common and preferred stock. Hi, this is Ken Boyd with the Accounting Ed Training Academy. And with the Accounting Accidentally website, I have the website pulled up up here. And you can also see the Accounting Ed website here. And what I wanted to talk about was differences between common and preferred stock, part of a video I'm doing for the Accounting Ed website series. First of all, stockholders have rights. You've got several types of rights as a shareholder. Voting rights, you get to vote on major corporate decisions like whether the company will go through a merger or a buyout. Dividends, if they're declared by the board of directors and if the company has sufficient earnings, you have to have earnings to pay a dividend by definition. Most people buy stocks so they can sell the stock for a gain. The company's successful, the stock price increases, the stockholder sell, sells the stock for a gain, they're an owner of the stock that they sell. And finally, you're invited to the annual meeting, but most people don't go and submit their votes using a proxy statement. You do not have to go to the annual meeting to be able to vote. Common stock versus preferred stock. As the name implies, preferred means better in some manner. So let's explain the difference between the two. Common stock means there is no set dollar amount of dividend, number one. And number two, you're last in line to make a claim on assets that the company liquidates or goes out of business. Second, preferred stock, there is a specific dollar amount of dividend that you can calculate, a dollar amount. And if there is a claim on assets because the company liquidates or goes bankrupt, as a preferred shareholder, you're in line in front of common shareholders to make a claim on those assets. There's a special type of preferred stock called cumulative preferred, which brings up the term dividends in arrears. If you miss a dividend, the dividend is owed to the shareholders in future years. And in fact, that dividend has to be paid, the one that was missed has to be paid, before any other dividends in future years. So cumulative preferred is even more valuable because you get dividends that are missed. And finally, convertible bonds. This is a corporate bond that's convertible into common stock. And what you'd like to take a look at is the difference in the market price between the convertible bond and the stock to see which one you'd prefer holding. So the example that I use is a $1,000 IBM 6% bond convertible into 20 shares of common stock. Well, if the stock had a market value of $60 per share, 20 shares would be worth $1,200. If the market value of the bond was less than $1,200, it would make more sense to convert and own the stock. So that's a brief overview of the difference between common stock, preferred stock, and corporate bonds. You're going to see a course on accounting ed called Mutual Fund Basics that will include this video content and a lot of other great content on mutual funds and investing. And you can find over 100 blog posts and other information on the Accounting Accidentally website. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.